Hello and welcome to another update of Virtual uh, Team League. This time Season 2, lots to talk about, so let's crack on and have a look at Week 1. OK then, Week uh, 1, Season 2. Let's have a look then. We'll start at the top, shall we? The Premier League and Virtual Ravens 1. There's no surprise. Uh, 1,440, they kick off uh, Season 2 at the top of the tree, followed by the England Invaders, PDA Virtual Team, Untouchable Slims, the top four there in the Premier League. Very noticeable scores. Um, 1,830 from Owen O'Neill of the Virtual Ravens 1. I think that's one of the top scores we've had uh, so far. Uh, backed up by Alan Suter. Suits, uh, 1614. Uh, Terry Shepard, 1240. And Scott Winder, 1074. So, a pretty good start, I would say. Uh, PDA Virtual Team. Uh, again, we've got uh, a wonderful score of 1407 from Stephen Colburn. Um, then we're uh, Virtual Ravens 2, David Hay and Derek Morrison with 1265, 1229. Fabulous scoring all the way down. Even Swanage Sharks, Dave Elm, we've had on the show. Uh, 1518, uh, another st st stupendous score there. And Clive Burgess with a 1419 for the Cheeksby Titans. You know, we, we, we've got some serious scoring going on here, even down to the 6th and 7th position. So, uh, fantastic work in the Premier League. If we now take a look at the Championship, Leading the way in the championship then are the Irish All-Stars uh, with 1-2-8-0. Followed by Virtual Regulators, 1061, Live Darts Iceland, 1030, Bristol Dynamo, 962, Tolstone Misfit, Misfit 895. Uh, all sorts. I mean, the scoring has been excellent, and we can see quite comfortably why uh, the Premier League and the Championship uh, scores are like they are. Uh, but let's 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 move on. Let's now have a look at the League One status. League One leaders then after Week One of uh, Season Two, uh, BYDA Team Panthers with 950. What makes this score rather interesting is the fact that BYDA stands for Blackburn Youth Darts Academy, where I think the average age of this team is probably about 12. Uh, fantastic scoring uh, by Team Panthers. Uh, well done to you. Darts in Stoke. Uh, 938 I mean 900 averages uh, not not to be sniffed at uh, certainly in League 1 uh, uh, at the moment uh, another uh, academy then uh, from Blackburn team Team Jaguars who have come out at 755 Paint and Darts Academy we've got a few few going on here 639 Great Danes with 629 Worcester Warriors 605 again uh, a lot of children in that one uh, and another team from the uh, Blackburn Youth Darts Academy the Cougars with 390. Uh, fantastic uh, scoring all round. And don't forget that there are uh, will be virtual pounds for your positions of finish uh, at the end of season two. Uh, so depending on where you finish in your league, uh, there'll be uh, some monies for you. Uh, and that might take us nicely on to why you need your money. So shall we have a look at the uh, transfer market? <laughs> Transfer centre then. You may have noticed, uh, team captains, uh, that on your team page there is a now a monetary value next to all of your players. If they've played the virtual team uh, league uh, last season and played JDC virtual as well, uh, the average score that your players have will be made up as a monetary value. So if you've got an average of 900, your players are worth 9 million virtual pounds. So the higher, the better average they are, you might want to get those in your team. It's also an opportunity for players to be able to suggest they'd like to move uh, for whatever reason. Um, they might want to start their own team. Uh, they might want to go and move and play with some different people uh, around the world. So the opportunity for a bit of movement in the transfer market going forward. And we'll catch up in a couple of weeks and see uh, what movements have been had uh, in season two. OK, so there's our roundup of the three new leagues uh, within JDC Virtual Team League. However, I'm not going to miss it out, the Interim League. So you'll see at the bottom of the leagues, there's an Interim uh, League section where new teams that have been created at any point, so for those that are looking to start a team, you can do it at any point, and you'll go straight into the Interim League. The point of that is, after three weeks of scores, your average will then denote which league you are placed. So it gives you the opportunity to understand exactly where you are, have a 
few weeks at it with your team uh, and then you know which league you're going to be dropped into. So, for example, if you scored over a 1,000, uh, you will go into the Premier League uh, uh, in your three weeks in the interim league. OK, uh, Tech Corner. This week, we're going to have a little look at where you do your live scores. Now, there's a few new teams to the league, so we'll just run through this uh, briefly for you. Just to remember, your qualifying scores can be done at whatever time you, you agree on any medium for your team captains. However, your live scores, the four chosen live scores, must be on your team's Facebook page so that we can verify them. So our team are looking at the team pages. One or two did go through, slip through the net and ended up on people's own uh, Facebook feeds. So if we can keep them onto the team, it makes it so much easier for us to validate uh, those scores. One other thing to remember as well is that when you are just about to go live, uh, there are five or six little tick boxes uh, to agree to before you do it. Um, please ensure that your board is visible. It is at the right height and it is of the nature that we can all see quite clearly what you're doing. Everybody is fine, but just for those new teams that are coming on board, please take note of those little notes before you go uh, live on your team page. And don't forget to tag in at JDC Virtual. There we are then, a complete roundup then of uh, week one, season two. Now, we haven't had a captain's log this week, but we are going to catch up with the JDC chairman, Steve Brown, who has put a team in. Um, not very good. Uh, a team called Team Sunborn. And we'll be catching up with Steve just on how his week went um, and getting ready for obviously which league they're going into. Likely to be the Premier League. Um, and um, we'll, we'll catch up with our dream teams and whatever in, in the future weeks. So for the first week of Season 2, hopefully you enjoyed it. More teams are joining. We've got Interim League for you to join at any point. Uh, and Gibraltar is on. <laughs>